going to look at some examples of solving power equations. Uh, we've already looked at how to do that. All we need to do is get my power, which is my base exponent, equal to my answer. And then I take the root on both sides. And if E is even, I put a plus minus in front of that root. That's it. So I need to get my power on its own. So looking at this one, I can see my power is this w to the power of 9. To get it on its own, I need to divide both sides with 512. If I do that, okay, I get that w9 is equal to 512. So taking the ninth root on both sides gives me Okay, first I have to just ask, should I put a plus minus in front? No, I don't need to because my exp exponent is not even. 512, and I see here W is equal to 2 because 2, uh, sorry, 1 over 2. Okay, because uh, the ninth root of 1 is just 1 and the ninth root of 512 is 2, so it's 1 over 2. Let's look at another one, this one. Here we can see the power that I'm trying to solve. That's my first step, is to solve the, the power, get that one on its own. I do that by just getting rid of this 19 first. So doing SAMDOB, I get first of the 19 because it's subtracted. So I've got 2, 4, 3, T, 5. Uh, I add a 19 on both sides, gets rid of the 19 on this side, is equal to 13 plus 19 is 32. Okay, next step to get my power alone, I'll have to divide with 2, 4, 3 on both sides, 2, 4, 3 on both sides. This cancels on this side, and I've got T5 is equal to, T to the power of 5 is equal to 32 over 243. So I take the fifth root on both sides the fifth root on both sides, which gives me that t is equal to, now the fifth root of 32 is just 2, the fifth root of 243 is, um, I think it is 7, 7 times 7 is 49, yes, it's 7, okay, so, t is equal to 2 over 7. Should it be plus or minus? No, because I'm working with an odd exponent. So that's not necessary when I'm working with an odd exponent. Okay, here's another one. Let's look at this one. This looks quite similar. So I've got 256 m8. Get rid of this plus 22 by saying minus 22 on both sides. So I get equal to 1. So m8 8 into the power of 8, the 256 I divide on both sides, divide 256 on both sides, and I get that m8 is equal to 1 over 256. Now to take the 8th root, this time I am working with an even number, so I'll have to put a plus minus in front. And that just tells me I've got a positive and a negative answer. So I've got m is equal to, uh, sorry, this is the 8th root. I shouldn't forget that. The 8th root of 1 is 1 over the 8th root of 256 is 2. Or, because now the negative is also an answer, negative 1 over 2. Good, that wasn't so bad. How about this one? Okay, this time I see that my power that I'm trying to solve is actually a whole bracket base. Okay, but still that's what I'm going to try and get on its own. The only thing I need to do to it to get it on its own is to divide with a 12. So on both sides I'm dividing with a 12. So I get 1 plus r to the power of 9 is equal to 3 over 12. Well, let's make it easier and say it's 1 over 4. Okay, now to solve it, I must take the ninth root on both sides. That would get rid of this exponent. So 9 is the ninth root on both sides. It's not even, so I don't need to take a plus minus. 
and I'm left with 1 plus r is equal to the ninth root of a quarter. Okay, I didn't use my calculator to do this yet. I'll only use my calculator in the last step. To get r on its own now, I just need to subtract the 1 that's still with it. So I'm subtracting 1 on both sides. So I get r is equal to 9th root of a quarter minus 1. Okay, now you would probably have to enter your answer using your calculator. So let's do that. So we have 0.25, that's a quarter, and I want to take this, okay, 0.25, so I have to take the ninth y root of 0.25, no, that's not, I need to take 0.25, a y root is the ninth y root of 0.25 is equal to that answer minus 1. My final answer is negative 0 0.143. Okay, so I'm going to round, so I use my approximate signs 0 0.143. Yes approximately 0 0.143 okay I'm sorry for this lack of space let's do two more examples this one looks a little bit weird okay this looks a little bit odd well first of all all I'm trying to do is get the X's exponent to be 1 okay how do I do that well, to get a fraction to equal 1, I multiply with a reciprocal. Now, how can I multiply an exponent? Well, it's quite easy. Take the power of the power. So this, to the power of 3 over 7. And do it on both sides. 3, everything on the right-hand side gets the power of 3 over 7. Okay. So on the right-hand side, I've got x to the power of 2 sorry 1 equals to 3 to the power 3 over 7 let's see what's the answer okay so we've got 3 to the power of and 3 over 7 okay is 1.601 1. approximately equal to 1.601 1. there we go that is my first my first one of these and here I've got another one like this this time again I find that my base or my power has got a whole bracket base so no problem I just want that exponent to be 1 so I can get rid of the brackets so to do that on both sides I'm going to take to the power of the reciprocal so I've got 5x plus 3 that already has an exponent of 3 over 2. I want it to be to the power of 1. To do that, I'll have to take the power of a power, that is what I do to multiply exponents, of 2 over 3 is equal to 64. And since we took the power of a power on this side, side we also have to do it on this side, the right hand side, the same thing, 2 to the power of 3. Okay. So what I have on this side is 5x plus 3 in the brackets would be to the power of 1 now because I multiply the exponents and because it's a power of 1 I don't need the brackets anymore. Okay, is equal to what is 64 to the power of 2 over 3? Well it's actually, I can write it as the cube root of 64 which is just 4 squared so 5x plus 3 equals to 64 cube uh, the cube root of 64 is 4 squared is 16 and now I can just continue to solve it okay did I have to use a plus minus in front here okay 
Remember the only time I use a plus minus is when my uh, my exponent is even. Now if it is a fraction the numerator has to be even. So it is only necessary to put a plus minus in front if my numerator for my exponent is even. Okay, uh, let me just show you again why. So if I had x to the power of 2 equal to 1, then I know I must put a plus minus in front because I get two answers, plus or minus 1. Is the numerator even? Yes, because the numerator of this um, exponent, sorry, forgot the word, the numerator is 2. It's actually 2 over 1, so the numerator is indeed even. Okay, then it gets a plus minus. So just to continue with this question, we subtract the 3 on both sides to get 5x is equal to 13. And then we divide with 5 on both sides to actually get x is equal to 13 over 5. And those are a few examples. I hope you enjoyed doing them with me. I enjoyed doing them. I'll see you in the next topic. I think we're getting to quadratic equations. Uh, see you there.